Hey guys, Josh here. Thanks for tuning in. All right guys, we're back out in the woods. It's cold out here today. When I was working, setting up camp, I was fine, but now that I'm just relaxing, it is cold. I don't know what the temp is. I can't get it to pull up on my phone, but it's chilly out here and it's gonna be really chilly tonight. It's gonna be down into the low 20s, which for my area, that's cold. For East Tennessee, where I'm from, where I live, where I camp, that's cold. I know for a lot of you guys up north, that's nothing, no big deal, but for me, that's cold. So we're gonna have a cold night. I'm keeping things simple. I've got the MSS sleep system, the bivy, and the intermediate bag. So we're just doing it simple tonight. No big shelter, no tarp, just sleeping in the bivy. So I've got a ridge line strung across. I've got a line going up to the ridge line to a prussic where I can adjust it and pull it tight. That way I can pull the bivy off of my face. If for some reason I need to completely enclose myself, I don't think that's going to be an issue. I don't think I'll have to do that. There's no you know, rain or anything tonight. The wind might pick up or something you know, like that, but no big deal. But just in some emergency situation, if I did have to completely enclose myself, I set up that ridge line, I can pull the line tight, pull the bag up off my face, no big deal. It's not, you know, laying right across my face. I can't stand that, so. Yeah, so we're uh, doing it simple tonight. We're gonna have a fire. I'm not sure yet where the fire's gonna be, but um, gotta cut some firewood here pretty soon. Gonna have a good dinner tonight. Gonna have a couple beers tonight. So we're gonna have a good time, good time. I've got a little bit of new gear on this trip, nothing spectacular. I have uh, I picked up some wax canvas stuff sacks and pouches and things like that. I'm actually sitting on a wax canvas ground sheet that I got that also doubles as a wood carrier. So yeah, that should be nice. Actually, it's nice just to sit on, but I can use it as a wood prep area or fire prep area. Um, I put some paracord handles on it so I can load up wood, carry it from one location to where I'm actually going to have my campfire. Uh, I got a sack or a pouch, bag, whatever whatever you want to call it, wax canvas for my skillet and basically my cook set. So it's all in there. So nothing uh, too crazy as far as new gear goes, but um, a couple of little things. And I've got some cool new gear on the way. I'm not even going to mention what it is, but it's something I've wanted for I don't know, a couple months. It's on its way. Next time out, hopefully, hopefully it'll be here by then. Next time out, I'm gonna use it. I'm super excited about that. But I'm excited about the bivy tonight. Um, I've actually had that bivy for three or four years, maybe even longer, and I have never used it. So we're gonna bust out the MSS bivy, the Gore-Tex bivy tonight, sleep out under the stars, and hopefully have a good night. And yesterday, there was snow on the ground. I mean, there's still snow on the ground at my house, but where I'm at now, it's about 30 minutes away. I don't know, 25, 30 minutes away. The snow is relatively gone here. Um, I was hoping in the woods, there would still be some snow on the ground, but it's it's pretty much gone. There's a few small patches here and there, but it's it's gone. I mean, they didn't get nearly as much snow here as I did at my house. And I didn't get a ton. I mean, we don't get a ton of snow in Tennessee, but I definitely got more. I live more north of here. And I definitely got more snow than, than what was here. But yeah, I was a little bummed about that. I wanted there to be some snow on the ground out here in the woods. So I don't get to do a whole lot of snow camping. That was kind of a bummer. Let's go get some firewood.
Okay, so I've got some firewood collected. Not a ton, but enough for right now. I'll have to go get some more here in a little bit, but I'm just taking a break right now. But yeah, got firewood collected. This is a good spot for firewood. I've, I see lots of potentially good firewood. I've already got some pretty decent firewood, so there's a lot more around. So uh, I see a cedar tree over here that I might, might get some bark from, break it up, use it as my uh, fire starter. So a lot of good resource, resources. God, I can't talk right in this area. So we are, uh, we're looking good. And I think I'm gonna have my fire right here in front of me because I've, I've got this nice log that I can sit on close to the fire. The only problem is it's on a little bit of a slope. So I'm gonna have to maybe dig it out a little bit or come up with a way where everything doesn't just kind of want to roll off to one side, maybe put some dead rotten stuff down here and kind of block it off or something. I don't know, we'll figure it out. But um, yeah, I like this area for a fire. My bivy is not too far over here, but I'm not too worried about any sparks or anything like that landing on it. So not a big deal, but yeah. Very nice, very nice. It's a beautiful day. It's cold, but it's beautiful. I'm still bummed that there's no snow out here though. I was really hoping there'd be some snow, but oh well, it's still gonna be a good day. Good night in the woods. Okay, so I've been going around collecting firewood. I got my kindling. Uh, I sawed some more firewood, some bigger pieces. So I need plenty to cook with and then to stay warm with. So I'm a lot better now. I'll still need a little bit more later, but by that point, I'll just grab whatever that's close by, throw it on, I'll be okay. I went around to a few different trees, uh, collected some cedar shavings. It's dampish, so I've got it out in the sun. I'm gonna try to dry it a little bit, but that didn't work out too well last time. But um, yeah, I didn't want to damage the trees, so I just went around to a few different ones, grabbed a little bit, got me a nice little tender bundle here. So I'm pretty sure we'll get that going, no problem even though it's damp. So we'll break it up a little bit and get those fibers exposed and get it going. So uh, yeah, we're in pretty good shape, guys. I've been working, so I'm not cold now. I feel pretty good. Actually, my head's pretty warm from this uh, wool beanie. But, uh, yeah, I've got my chicken. <laughs> I'm having chicken tacos tonight. So I've got my chicken up in a tree, kind of wedged between two branches. I'm trying to get it to thaw out. I let it thaw some this morning, but it wasn't anywhere near thawed. So I don't know how well that's going to thaw with it being cold out here. I've got some bacon in the same bag, so we'll have some bacon in the morning to go with my oatmeal. So... I've got my beers. There's a little gully right beside me right here. And there's a little bit of snow in that gully still. So I've got my beers and my cheese for my tacos <laughs> in that gully in what little bit of snow there is there to try to keep it cold. So, uh, yeah. Looking good, guys. Looking good. Okay, let me show you what I've got going on here if I can. This is just my excess cordage. I've got a ridge line up here that I've got running from tree to tree. And down here connected to my bivy is just a pullout. It's a pullout you can add to a tarp, to a hammock, whatever. It's just a, an accessory that I had. I think I'd bought for a hammock or something like that. So I attached it to the top of my bivy. There's a piece of shock cordage connected to the tie out. That is coming up here connecting to a piece of paracord that is going up and connecting to a prussic. So I can slide this, if you can see that, and pull it tight 
and when I pull it tight, it pulls the bivy up and pulls the fabric away from my face. So hopefully I don't need that tonight, but it's there just in case. And also I added this piece of paracord that I tied my, what is this? Sunjack light stick to. So I've got this hanging down close by. So when I'm laying in the bivy, I can reach up, I can click the light on, I can have some light in this area, I can reach up, turn it off when I'm finished with it. So that is what's going on. Gotta say I'm pretty happy with it. We shall see how it performs tonight though. I really should have brought my hatchet. I started to, and then I didn't. This is some tough wood to try to baton through with just a little more. Next time though, next time we'll definitely bring the hatchet. And I had it good and sharp. I bought a new sharpening stone or a puck. Had it good and sharp, and I just didn't want the extra weight. <laughs> so usually I'm fine without the hatchet I can just baton through the wood but I've got some nice solid rounds right now and uh, the more it's struggling to get through it but we shall press on all right guys I've got my fire area prepped. I baton some more wood. I didn't film it, just I just jumped in there and got it done. But before that, I just went on a walk. I went on a nice long walk through the woods, came out to the field over here, just uh, walked around, came back to my camp spot, and basically I was just scoping out uh, more campsites. And I found two really nice places so one i've seen before and i just totally forgot about so i'm going to try to keep it in mind it would have been perfect for what i'm doing right now for the bv camp just nice flat area up on a hill a nice view i really wished i would have seen it or remembered it but i like where i'm at now no 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 issues and i found another space uh, there's a creek that runs beside it. It's it's open. It's flat. There's it's enclosed by woods except for this flat area, and it would be an awesome place to set up a tent, and an awesome place for for me to bring Leland out here and do some tent camping. And Leland was so wanting to come with me on this trip. I mean, he he begged to go on this trip. He was so upset he couldn't come, but. It is just, it's going to be so cold tonight. I just didn't, you know, I didn't want him out here in that kind of cold. I, I just wasn't sure I could keep him comfortable and keep him warm. And the last thing I want to do is pack up in the middle of the night and have to hike out of here and go home. So we'll just hold off on Leland going with me until it's going to be a little bit warmer. But yeah, I'm almost ready for that fire. It's getting quite a bit cooler now. But yeah, we'll get that fire rocking pretty soon. I'm ready for some dinner or getting very close to <laughs> being really hungry. So. 
All right, I'm gonna go ahead and get everything set out that I need for cooking. Fire kit, ditty bag, grill, cup, and this is my wax canvas sack that I've got my cutting board, fork, fry pan, and that is it. Got all my goodies inside there. So I'll go ahead, get my grill out. That's all I need for now. I'm going to make some rice in my cup to go along with my chicken tacos, Mexican rice. Oh yeah. All right, let's get this fire going. I've got a little bit of jute twine in here just to hopefully take the spark and then catch all this cedar, but that cedar is damp. Oh man, that fire feels good. Okay, got my cup. I'm gonna go ahead and make my rice. Mexican rice. That should go good with my chicken tacos. I really hope these chicken tacos <laughs> turn out okay. It's just something I'm trying. So I got my rice in my cup, little H2O. I don't know how much H2O to put, <laughs> so. All right, my chicken's still on the grill doing its thing. Um, something I totally forgot about. Merry Christmas, guys. As of the time of filming, right now, it's the day after Christmas. So I don't know when this video will actually go live, but late Merry Christmas. So I hope you guys had a fantastic Christmas. I hope Santa was good to you. So yeah, hope you guys had a great time with family and friends, I know I did. So this is a Christmas present to myself. A time out in the woods, a cold night out in the woods with beer and chicken tacos. So yeah, so Merry Christmas guys, sincerely. All right, my tacos are done. This is gonna be a little bit more <laughs> difficult to prepare than I had planned on. Got my tortillas. I do not have a plate. I should have brought a plate. Got my cheese. Get loads 
and loads of cheese. It is a good thing there's no bears out here or animals because uh, I'd be in trouble tonight if there was. And I've got some Chipotle sauce. Let's wrap this bad boy up and eat. My tortilla is falling apart. I gotta say, that's pretty darn good. <laughs> There's an owl going nuts over here. Mm-hmm. Everywhere. We got some rice. Mm. Mexican rice. That's good. Not as good as that taco though. I gotta have another. And I cracked open a Sweetwater IPA. Good. All right, I'm gonna turn the camera off and eat. This is a messy endeavor. I know I've mentioned it before, but if you forgot, I'm a weenie. I'm a weenie when it comes to cold weather. So I've got my gloves on, I've got my anorak, I've got my regular jacket over top of it, my merino wool beanie on, so I'm layered up pretty good. And I'm by the fire. I mean, I'm comfortable. Right now I'm comfortable. But yeah, I'm a weenie when it comes to cold weather. And I live in Southeast Tennessee. For those of you that don't know or maybe new to the channel, whatever, I'm used to hot weather. I'm used to really hot weather, not cold weather. <laughs> I don't do cold weather very well. So we have pretty mild weather. I mean, as far as fall and winter goes. So when it dips into the 20s, you know, low 20s especially, that's cold for here. That's just weather we don't have a whole lot of. It'll dip into the teens occasionally, every once in a while, single digits. And every once in a while we'll get some snow like we did yesterday, but not a lot. But um, yeah, I'm just not used to cold weather. So when it's cold, I'm cold. I'm a weenie when it comes to cold weather. So I love cold weather. I hate summertime weather. I hate 90, 95, 100 degree weather. I, I despise it. So give me winter, give me fall, any time of the day. So, but that doesn't make me any less of a weenie when it gets cold. But uh, I enjoy it though. All right, I'm just sitting here relaxing, enjoying the fire. I'm actually pretty comfortable right now. Leaned up against the log, the log that I was sitting on. I just put my mat down beside it, in front of it. Now I'm just leaning up against it, so just give myself a little bit of back support. So I'm quite comfortable. Just sitting in, sitting here, enjoying my second beer, enjoying the warmth of the fire. So yeah, it's been a good night. It really has it's been a good night. So I think I'm gonna call it quits for tonight, guys. I think I'm gonna turn the camera off. 
I'm going to sit back, enjoy the rest of my beer. I downloaded some videos on my phone. I'm going to lean back up against my log. I'm going to enjoy the fire. Same thing I've been doing. And uh, just chill out for the rest of the night. I'll bring you back when I actually crawl in the bivy and it's time to go to bed. But for now, I think I'm done filming. I'm going to enjoy the night. So you guys take care. See you soon. Alright guys, I'm going to bed. It is, it is 5 after 12. So I've just been sitting by the fire, staying warm, watching some videos I had downloaded. But now I'm getting sleepy, so it is bedtime. Guys, thank you for tuning in. I will see you in the morning. Good night. Good morning guys. It is quite cold. Quite, quite cold. I don't want to get out of this sleeping bag. Oh. That was a cold night. I wasn't super cold. Except for my feet. My feet got cold. And uh, I had to roll over on my side, kind of curl up in a ball and get my feet away from the bottom of the sleeping bag. When I did that, my feet were okay. But anytime I stretched out and had my feet down toward the bottom of the, the bag, they got cold. I mean, otherwise, I was okay my face got a little bit cold at one point i was completely enclosed in the bivy well i had it up over my head i had the uh i had the tie out above me pulled tight so that it was pulling the bivy off of my face but i didn't have it sealed up completely around the head end i had it open to let some air in and out but that did block a lot of the cold air. <sighs> I've actually been up for about 15, 20 minutes or so. I just don't want to get up because it's cold everywhere else. <laughs> but I got to get that fire going. The water I'm pouring in my cup is instantly icing up.
coffee. It's scorching hot. I'm waiting on my water to boil up for my oatmeal. I've got some bacon in my backpack that I had buried down in so it wouldn't freeze, you know, with my water and stuff I didn't want to freeze. But I'm just not feeling bacon this morning. And I know that's crazy because I love bacon. But I'm just not in the mood to really cook anything this morning. I want simple. So coffee, oatmeal, I'll take the bacon home, have it later today. <sighs> Gotta let that coffee cool down. My water's done. Oatmeal is in, bananas and cream. I'm just gonna let this fire burn out. I'm okay, I don't wanna build it back up and uh, have to sit around and let it die down and die out. I have no water around here. There's no water source for me to go to and collect water for putting out the fire. All I have is what little bit of water I have left. That's all the water I've got left. So I'm just gonna have to let it die down or die out, not die down, but completely die out. Let's try this watery oatmeal. It's watery, but it's good. All right, guys, I'm packed up. Pack is on, locked and loaded. Camp is packed up. Everything is clean and pristine. Whew. I didn't want to wait around on the fire to completely die down, so I knew where there was just basically a big puddle. So I walked out to the big puddle, filled up my water bottles, carried them back, doused the fire, so now we're good to go. I'm tired, I'm cold, I'm ready to go home. Thanks for tuning in, guys. I'll catch you next time. Take care.